What's up, still you rock, J Nicks? What's popping? I'm just trying to figure out this green thumb you have with this music game, man. You know, you, you brought up the wonderful little Uzi that has sold out concerts, became a different type of rock star style rapper artist. How was that, even signing Lil Uzi and, and everything y'all been through? Um, signing Uzi was uh was like you know, it was like it's interesting because before Uzi there were a couple of artists that I was very close to signing and right. was kinda on the on the verge or the tip of and you know, things didn't work out or go as according to plan. So, you know, when Cannon first came to me and was like, Yo, it's this kid in Philly, Lil Uzi, I was just like, Run it, let's do it. You know, so um and, and at the time I had I had just started my job at Atlantic as as an A and R slash consultant, and Atlantic was was you know you know I was new to being an A and R and, and that type of system. You know I've done I've done it in the streets forever, but right. you know kind of being part of a label. So they were like putting various different artists with me to work with. You know what I'm saying and, and try different things, and it wasn't really going good. So I kind of almost lost my job. I was on wow. the verge of losing my job. And, you know, the powers that be came to me and was like, look, John, we believe in you. You know, we believe in what you bring to the table. We believe in Mean Street Studios. We're going to let we're going to let the studio rock. We're going to let you you and your team do what y'all do with Lil Uzi. And let's see how it works out. Mm. And I remember even being in a meeting, you know, and, and this is for everybody listening, you know, any aspiring artists or anything. You know, there was a moment in time where. I had an argument with the powers that be where they were like, yo, they were telling me that we, before anything, we had to get Lil Uzi hot in our backyard. You right. know what I'm saying? Before, you know, they could push the buttons, quote unquote, the buttons or do whatever, you know, we had to get Uzi hot, which was in Philly at the time. And I told him I disagree. Like, you know, the world isn't what it is in, in 97 or 03 or even, even maybe 05 or 07 at the time. Like these kids aren't necessarily getting hot in their cities. Like, you right. know, Jay Cole didn't break in Fayetteville, Wiz didn't break in Pittsburgh, Drake right. didn't break in Toronto. Like they're all over the internet. So, you know, we, we, we proved that we could do it with Uzi and we, we got Uzi hot and you know, now he's one of the, you know, most most viable and streaming artists in the world. Mm. Mm. That's deep. So so th that goes to show, like I always tell people, like, you never know what happens in your life. You just gotta definitely keep working because I'm what you just saying, the fact that you could have lost your job and then you come and dedicate us and give us one of the biggest, youngest, new artists, talented artists, rave artists, rock star style artists that the game I've ever seen. I really haven't seen too many rappers that wow. doing what Uzi doing and just moving and how Uzi moving. So definitely salute to you on that. So tell me about your next your, your, your next one. Now you got this, 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 now you got, now you went from Uzi to a white guy. My friend, <laughs> my tall white guy friend that loves ranch dressing, Jack Harlow. So tell me how that situation happened. Um, shout out to Steph Floss in the comments too. Floss, what's um, up? Um, so, so Jack, you know, I, I got this friend, um, named, named Randy, um, good friend of mine, you know, um, the A town legend. And he, um, you know, he, he pretty much told me about Jack one day and, um, you know, I checked him out on the gram and I actually started following him like off, off top. And I guess Jack noticed that and followed me back. And he wound up telling me later that he remembers the day I followed him. And he, he told his friends like, yo, I'm going to sign a drum. Mm. So Jack, Jack, um, you know, we uh, probably, probably was about maybe like six, six to eight months later that I, I first met him. And um, he, he came to the, you know, he came to the table. And, you know, a lot of the signings that I do, I always consult with like uh, Lake and Cannon, shout to Don Cannon, shout to uh, Lake Sheezy, you know, my partners in Generation Now. And, you know, we decided to, 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 to sign Jack. And, um, you know, it's been about maybe like three, three and a half years now since we signed him. And, um, you know, it's so it never, I never really felt like I got comfortable. Or I was, you know, you know, content in my accolades. Like it was like, all right, with Jack, we was proving it again. And, you know, seeing that he's, he's a, a, a white boy in hip hop, you know, that right. that's already like, you know what I mean? Like you're going, you're going against not going against but you know it's it's you, you got he's got something to prove as we do too and i knew i knew the kid had bars you know i knew that he could definitely be one of the greats and everything and you know what i'm saying and, and it's interesting because we put out a couple projects and you know we, we thought a couple records were, were going to be the ones and then 
you know, I remember over um over the over the over the holidays of um last year he played me was popping and it just like it felt like something. So to see that this being his breakout record, you know, and now Jack is getting the attention that he deserves. You know, I was just talking about it uh, yesterday with my man BL. I was like, damn, it's crazy because we haven't even really gotten to be in the clubs to see right. what was pop, what was popping was gonna do, and right. you know, by now it was really gonna go up. So you know, Jack put out um he he put out his uh, most recent project. You know, he's working on his album, and um, you know, look 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 for look for something special real soon. Yeah around what's popping record, you know what I'm saying, um, with Jack Harlow that we're going to drop real soon. Okay, that's dope. So, so see, and, and see, one thing I admire about Generation, um, your, your whole label and your whole conglomerate, y'all signing different type of people. It's not like sure. y'all staying in a trap lane. Because now you got another kid, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that's very talented, steady. you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, got dreads, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Florida boy, you know what I'm saying, Seti Hendrix. So what made you decide, decide to sign Seti? Because now you're almost touching the R&B, like, Interviewing him, he's like, bro, I'm Erica Badu, I'm yeah. Trap, I'm yeah. 100,000, I'm all of this. So how how are you? How do you how do you switch lanes so much, bro? I'm like, you know, what I'm saying, we're doing these projects, bro. Honestly, I really have a great team around me. I have a great staff and a lot of great ears. You know, shout out to my man Willie Joe. You know, he first introduced me to SETI. Um, you know, I can't a, a lot of I can't take a lot of credit. Like a lot of people bring me a lot of artists, and I'm. You know, I'm the type of person that I, I listen closely, like, with people I respect. You know, if somebody says, this is a go, this is a go. So when I first heard Seti's music, I was like, yo, you know, th this kid is dope. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This, sh this shit was hot. And, you know, it's reminiscent to some sounds that, are, you know, it, it, I, I, I get some future vibes and I get Drake vibes. And, you know, but he, he can also spit. And like he said, he reminds you of Erica Badu. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, with Seti, I got the opportunity last summer. Um, I went on tour with Wiz Khalifa. French Montana, Money Bag Yo, and I was able to take SETI and uh, Jack out for a lot of the tour. So, you know, just got the chance to, like, introduce them to crowds that might not have been familiar, big stages, you know, uh, big big artists, and, you know, really kind of teach them the ropes along the way. Something that we did with Uzi as well. So, right. you know, SETI's ready to go, man. We just dropped the uh, most recent project. It's called Black Hearted Demon. You know, it's a record on there called Hands Down that to me is amazing and you know it's it's only gonna take just you know the right ears and eyes on him for him to pop off so so like drum like tell me this like what keeps you going because i remember like you know people counted you out when the, when you when you when uh the police and the feds are trying to get at you you know what i'm saying with the mixtape gang which which a lot of people don't even give you a credit because it's like i think so many people are short-minded about what yeah. goes on like like you were one of the biggest mixtape djs ever you know what I'm saying? Right. especially for down south you know what i'm saying and you went through all these different situations and you still overcome. Like, what's your drive? Like, what's your drive that keeps you elevating? I mean, for, for real, for Gen X, like, you know, we, you know, you know our grind. Like, we was doing this when we ain't had no hot water. You know what I'm saying? And, and you as well. Like, you know, me, we've been in the game so long. We, we, we come from humble beginnings. Like, you know, I, I do this because I love it. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, my, my goal when I first started, you know, some years ago, I'm not going to get my age away, but like was just to get my name on a flyer. You know what I'm right. saying? So I tell people all the time, like everything after that is just extra, you know, but it's so it's it's so many things to, to still accomplish. And, you know, like we want to be talked about in hip hop history. You know what I'm saying? And, and even for that, like you said, like, you know, there's so many things that I've accomplished that people may not even remember or may not even know. And, you know, I'm I, you know, one day they'll give me my flowers. But in the meantime, I just got to keep accomplishing shit and keep trying to, you know, put on and, and, and bring good music to the to the world. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I love to do. I don't know anything else. So that's what that's what keeps me motivated a lot. And and just the fact of that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably even in this, in this chat or regardless don't even know or remember what happened with me and the feds and right. you know them them trying to come for us and everything. And that's okay. You know, one day we're gonna tell the story but in the meantime man it's too much quality music and too many talented people out here and, and too much for me to do for for me to do anything else so i definitely have to salute you on that you know so i'm giving you your flowers now man i salute you i've been seeing your grind i've been i've been in Atlanta for 15 years so just even being able to be like yo you know i've been rocking with drama and being i'm watching drama grow is very inspiring 100%. you know what I'm so definitely super salute to you so tell me this like being, being a label how do you deal with different personalities like all these different personalities because of course in the media we always seen like you and you Uzi them had a mishaps about this but how do you deal with personalities because sometimes it doesn't even have to do with business it's more just people growing and people changing and people change every day how do you right. how do you manage to deal with different personalities and fluctuation of personality I just you know I just try to try to be me I mean you know you know through 
through whatever uh, disagreements or discrepancies, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, artists are artists and, and, and you see them, you know, you see them in, in, in incubator stages when they're young, wide eyed and bushy tail to, you know, being on top of the world with millions of dollars in their bank account, you know, so that can change people or that can, you know, bring out who that person was or, you know, various things. So through it all, like I, I can only be me. And, you know, at the end of the day, I, I know nobody can, you know, when it's all said and done, say that I've done any bad business. I've never taken a dollar from them. You right. know what I'm saying? I, you know, we, we give all our artists fair deals. You know, we're very proud of that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, artists are, are artists are artists. Like, you know, just even in the, in the most recent years of me having my own, thankfully I've, I've been in this game a long time. So I've dealt with a lot of personalities in a lot of different instances, you know, I came up with the greats, you know what I'm right. saying? I, I came up working with T.I., I came up working with Jeezy, I came up working with Wayne, Wayne yeah. you know, um, uh, Fab, me, 2 Chains, like, you know, Big so dogs. many so, so many people, like, I could go on forever. So, you know, with that being said, like, artists are artists, and, you know, they're going to have personalities, and you just have to navigate and, you know, like, be as, be as true and, and organic to yourself as you can, you know, and you're going to have disagreements, and, you know what I'm saying, you're going to you're going to have people that, you know, you, you may you may be great friends with and then there's other people that you may just want to do business with and it'd right. be that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to business, can't nobody say that we've ever done bad business or can't nobody prove that we've ever done any bad business. Right, right, okay. So what's next for Generation Now? You know what I'm saying? Currently, currently Jack Harlow, currently Sadie Hendricks. What's next for Generation Now? We have a couple new artists that we're, we're on the verge of signing. Um, so definitely like trying to get that together coming up. And, you know, I still feel like, you know, even with Jack's success right now, it's still a lot for him to accomplish. You know, for me, you know, having a hit record is one thing, but putting out an, an amazing body of work is, you know, right. th is, is the goal. So, you know, Jack's working on his debut album, um, really trying to get SETI off the ground and get these next artists going. I'm going to keep putting out music and, um, you know, just keeping it going, man, for, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? And, and creating, you know, creative new ways for us to get the music to the people even during this quarantine and the pandemic. So speaking of quarantine pandemic, what would you, being an A&R and being an owner of a, a, a label, a successful label, what would you tell some of the young artists now, right? Because the game has changed, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no clubs to work your music, you know what I'm saying? All you got is pretty much the internet right now. Game has definitely changed. What would you tell some of the young cats about just working their music during this pandemic and doing quarantine because everything is switched up? I mean, really, you know, this is a great time for you to, you know, to, to focus on yourself and, and focus on the music and, you know, just take advantage of 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 so many platforms and, and so many ways to to get the music to the people and get it in, the, in their hands. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's just like just let's think about it. Like we haven't had, even had our first like quarantine breakout star yet or, mm. you know what I mean? Like, you know, kids are taking advantage of TikTok and, you know, IG Live, and, and there's just so many ways. I mean, it's, it's just so many outlets that we didn't have when we was coming up. So it's so many ways to get the music to the people. And you don't have to wait on an A&R or a record label no more. You know what I'm saying? You can put your music right up to the to on the um, on the streaming platforms and, you know, send it to whoever. You know, there's a, I was saying before, there's a very fine line between, like, um, annoyance and, and consistency. You know what I'm right. saying? You have to walk that line. Like, you have to you know, introduce yourself to, to Jay Nix and DJ Drama numerous times till you get your point across and, you know, maybe not be annoying, but be consistent about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing wrong with sending people music and, you know, but you can't get mad when they don't pay attention to it. But right. just know that, you, you know what I mean? Like, there might be a time when somebody's going to press play on that link and that might be a big break. Mm, man. Well, definitely salute to you, Dom, Drama. Congratulations you, on everything brother. you've done, everything you got Appreciate going it. on. Absolutely. Salute to Jack Harlow, um, Teddy you. Hendrix, you know what I'm saying, uh, Uzi, everything. So definitely salute to you. And I, I can't wait to see what else you got going on and what you got coming up next, man. I appreciate I mean, that, my brother. Thank you for you all the support. Because you, you got the music, you got the radio. How do you find time to do all this stuff, girl? I'm like, you got your, your, uh, your satellite show. Like, How do you have time? And you, you riding bikes, almost falling off bikes, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I'm on my know? way right now to, to the bike uh, trail. Man, don't hurt yourself riding the bike today, John. We need you in the game, brother. But how do you find right time there. to do all of this in one day, bro? what else is there to do? This is what we love. You know what I'm saying? It's how I feed my family. Like, and it's a blessing. It's what I love to do. Like, you know, we all got the same 24 hours and it's how you use them.
Salute, salute. And we're going to end it with that, man. DJ Drama, ladies and gentlemen. You can get some all platforms. Yours truly. Stewie, Trap House, checking in. You dig? Well, I'm going to say 7-9. Love you, bro. Salute, hey, dog. One. For sure.